Welcome to another informative tutorial on setting up Laravel development environment. In this session, I will walk you through the installation and configuration of Laravel project. If you've been following our series, you've likely explored previous videos that guide you through the setting up essential components such as the local server and composer. These components are prerequisites for seamlessly installing and configuring your Laravel project. Now let's dive into the process of installing and setting up one of the most powerful and incredible web frameworks out there. To create our Laravel project, navigate to the folder that you want to create that project, you know here. And the first step is to is to create the Laravel project, just type this command, compiler, create project, project Laravel, Laravel, and then the name of the project. In our case, we will use Calc. Uh, in future, we might change the name of this project. So in the comments, below just give me a suggestion of what we'll call this project you know we can have a fancy name than this but for now let's stick with calc so i'll just press enter and this should create uh, our project There we go, um, the project is created. So now let's configure our environment variables. So I will open my project using uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, for Laravel project, I will really recommend using PHP Storm, but in this case, I will use uh, uh, Visual Studio Code, but you know, PHP Storm, uh, it's really, you know, amazing. It's really good. I've really used it for, a couple of years and it's so great you know so this is our environment file this is where we are going to you know uh, have the configurations of our projects so uh, i will explain this file later but at the moment this is the app name so we will change this to what we gave our app that is calc and then we're going to leave the other ones like that. And then there's this section of a very crucial se section. This is our core, this is the, uh, the database uh, configurations. So first of all, let's go and create uh, the, the, Laravel, the database, you know, because we, we are supposed to create our database. So I, will, I, will, I want to start our server. Remember, we installed our local server, so we just go cd apt lamp. Yeah, so this is a bit time consuming. I uh, will create a shortcut so that I can just launch the panel easily. But for now, let's just say sudo dot manager. Uh, let's go to ls. Yeah, so this is the file that I'm looking for. So I will say sudo dot and then my password. So this should run launch the control panel. There we go. Um, and let's start all the services. So this will start the Apache web server and our MySQL database server. Two thousand years later. There we go. All our services are running. So let's go to our browser and you know I'm going to start the PHP my admin. PHP my admin is the you know tool that we you we will be using to manage our database and tables. So to go to our PHP my admin, I'll just go there. This will take me to the dashboard of ZAMP. Then I will click PHP my admin. Yeah, and this will open the PHP my admin. Uh, database let's go ahead and create the database uh, in this case we call it calc just as the name of our app and there we go our database is ready let's go back to visual studio code 
and update these credentials. I'm going to minimize that so that it gives us a good space. So, and in this section, DB database, this is where we will write our database name, in that case, calc, and then the DB username is root and password is empty. You know, th those are the default uh, credentials that ZAMP comes with, you know, and that's it. And I can assure you our credentials are set. And just to update our credentials, I'm going to generate a new uh, application key. So PHP artisan. generate this will generate a new key this key is going to be stored here you know so this will update our configuration there we go you know you cannot you notice the key has changed and so now to ensure that our application is installed uh, properly first of all we need to run the migrations uh, these are our migrations. This is our, our tables, the default tables that uh, Laravel comes with, you see. So to migrate these tables, I'm going to say PHP artisan migrate fresh. So uh, this command will create these tables to our database. You know, let me show you something. Um, when we go back and click our database, you notice our database is empty. There is no even a single table. But once we run this command, I hope it runs successfully. There we go. Uh, the command is successful. And if we go back, let's refresh our database. And there we go, we have the tables. So these are the default tables that Laravel framework uh, comes with. You know. And so now to run our application, we will use, we will use this command PHP Addison. So, so this command will uh, run our application. As you can see, the application is served under this link. So the IP address, and then the port number is 8000. So just, let's just go and let's copy this link. Let's go to our browser and let's try to you know, run this application. Okay, that's not correct. I will, I will just type it. And then the port number 8000. And then port number 8000. As you can see, this is our Laravel uh, application our Laravel project is successfully installed. Uh, that's it in this video. Great job on setting up your Laravel project. Next up, we'll dive into the installation of Laravel Jetstream.